Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy On Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework Project Work Series. In my previous video session, I discussed about the contact listing and in this video, I will talk about the delete operation. So to do the delete operation, I need to add a link here. Then I will also add a unique record ID with this link which will be uh, which will be your action mapped in a controller. So let's begin. So I'm going to start from this contact listing page. So this is my contact listing page and this is the for each loop which is generating this uh, generating all these records here. And now this is the delete action and uh, I'm going to add prepare one hyperlink here. So this is the URL tag I'm using here and uh, variable. So this is variable is this is I can call it URL underscore DEL and the value will be this is user slash delete I should call it DEL contact this is contact and uh, just close this I can bind here parameter to this URL using this parameter as colon param and now the name of the parameter will be CID it's a contact ID and the value will be uh, the value will be your contact ID which is already accessible here through the contact object so you have to pass it here it's done now don't forget to close this so I have closed it and now you pass this URL here prepare the anchor tag here this is anchor href and uh, pass it here it's ready <coughs> sorry now you can see this listing here look at this a link is added here and uh, look at the status bar here so here you can check the status bar every URL has got some unique ID DEL contact ID 1 this is 2 when you go to here you will see here 6 so in fact you can see this properly through the view source so when you go to the page here you can check the view source this is the link you have added here recently so inside this link you will see this DEL contact this is your action and this is the unique ID we have added with each URL as a query string right so with each URL you will get this different ID because it is representing your contact ID it's a unique dynamic link we have generated through the loop right now we need to provide a mapping we need to provide one method in controller to handle the delete operation so do one thing go to the contact controller and uh, inside this you can add here a mapping I have copied this just a moment I will update this so this is your del delete contact this is the action and this is delete contact and now we'll receive here some ID so at the rate request param and what is the parameter name there it's a CID and the parameter is an integer type so this is contact ID I will receive here and the contact is bind through CID parameter so this is the parameter name and the value will be bind here and uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, call a service here so this is contact service and uh, this is delete so you can pass here delete this is the contact ID applied to the method and this will take care of the deletion part you can go to the implementation right and here we are executing this delete operation through the DAO method right so it's done so sir we are calling here service and service is then calling to the DAO and once deletion is done we will go to the listing so we'll go to the contact list here and I'm going to call this URL so this is C list and I'm going to redirect here so redirect C list 
and I'm going to bind here a flag this is X and is DEL right so now this is the delete operation now try this so a record let me refresh this I reloaded the record now do the delete operation so I'm going to delete here this tapasya record one delete this record look at this record is deleted and we are taken back to the contact list again so after deleting the record we are redirected to the contact listing right in fact you can see this so this is the action delete so delete action is performed and you are redirected to the contact list after action delete so you can do the deletion like this and one important thing you can do in this contact listing page you can display one message through this flag just a moment let me check this del if it is del i can display here contact deleted successfully right so try this so do the delete operation i'm going to delete this nilace record okay great nilace is deleted here and you can see this contact deleted successfully in fact when you add a new contact you can see that also so this is this is Mahesh Sinha and add some phone number this is Mahesh dot s dot sorry Mahesh dot s dot gmail dot com suppose this is gmail and now this is address is Pune sorry this is Pune and here it's testing okay fine save this record and we have got this Mahesh Sinha and I'm going to delete this last record seventh record try this okay contact deleted successfully fine so this is how we can do the delete operation and the important part in this whole story is we have prepared here this dynamic URL through the spring URL tag so this is important right and that has been supplied to the anchor tag so this is enough for this discussion if you have any query regarding this you can ask in comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates and uh, thank you very much see you in next video